Yesterday, the Federal Reserve decided to cut interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point to a range of four and a half to four and three quarter percent. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here to tell us what happened and what to expect in the coming months. Jill, last meeting, the Fed cut by a half a percentage point, this time quarter of a point. Why? Well, look, last meeting, the Fed Chair Powell said that the policymakers, they wanted to get a good, strong start. This meeting, the Fed really did note that economic growth is solid, the labor market is easing a little bit, and while there has been progress on inflation, it still remains higher than the central bank's target. That's why they chose a quarter of a percentage point. And there's one final Fed meeting this year. What is expected in December, and what is likely under a Trump administration? Well, odds are for another quarter of a percentage point cut in December. But what happens next year really does depend on the policies of the next administration and the impact of those policies on the economy. So if the U.S. experiences higher growth along with higher inflation, and that could be possible because we have the extension of tax cuts on the table and we also have potential tariffs on the table and both can lead to higher inflation, that may mean that the Fed could go more slowly in reducing interest rates next year. But we'll have to see. And what about the fate of Chairman Powell? You know, uh, President, then President Trump uh, elevated Jerome Powell to lead the Fed in early 2018. But, you know, subsequently he kind of trash talked him while the president was still in office. And over this past summer, President elect seemed to shift and he, he said he was a, somewhat amenable to allowing Powell to conclude his term as chair. Yesterday, when Powell was asked about whether or not he would resign if the president elect asked him to resign, he said no. And that means that we have Jerome Powell as a Fed chair until his term ends. That is May 2026. All right, Jill, thank you very much. And you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com.